Yesterday, I had a revelation, okay? I was doing my regular old piano lesson with my homie Greg, my teacher, and uh, we did it over FaceTime because we're practicing social distancing, and I learned about something called pentatonic scales. Now listen, listen. Don't be afraid if you're not a music theory person, that's okay, because this can apply to you if you're a rapper, producer, uh, well, if you're a producer and you do music theory, then yeah, it'll definitely apply to you, but if even if you're a songwriter, rapper, videographer, look, what is a pentatonic scale? Okay, look, I got the piano behind me. I'm not gonna go crazy explaining a bunch of music theory, but here's the deal. Pentatonic scale, look, a regular scale is basically seven notes. A pentatonic scale is only four five notes. Think of it like this, you're playing the five best notes. Just think of it like that. It's not exactly it, but just think of it like that. You can, it, when we did it and he taught me about it, I was like, yo, this is a cheat code. Now wait, wait, remember this isn't a music theory video, okay? So if you're not trying to play piano and you're like, nah, I don't do piano, don't trip. I'm gonna relate this to you. Look, I'll show you a little bit on the piano. I'm not trying to flex too hard, but you know, I am a boss with the piano. So look, a pentatonic scale. I'm literally just gonna freestyle and only play the pentatonic scale. It's one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna just freestyle something. Obviously, I was literally just freestyling, so it's not my best, but why did I show you that? All I was doing was playing five notes. So here's what I came up with. Quote of the year. Quote of the year right here, right now. Listen to me. The more you know, the less you have to do. The more you know, the less you have to do. The more you know, the less you have to do. What the heck does that mean? Well, look, I've been doing piano lessons for like two years now. I just learned what that is two years later. My understanding of music theory, like, I know a lot about music theory now. Not an expert, but a lot, right? That little trick right there wouldn't have meant anything to me the first day that I did music theory. Now, I don't have to do as much work. I only gotta, I mean, obviously I'll play around with other stuff, but I'm gonna use those pentatonic scales for a really long time. It's a great trick and it's a cheat code. Why am I telling you this? You need to understand that less is more, right? That's pretty much what my quote means, less is more. So the way that you can utilize less is by understanding more. Have you guys ever heard of the 80-20 rule? Have you ever heard of that? Basically what it means like in business, the 80-20 rule in business means 80% of your revenue comes from 20% of your customers. One more time. 80% of your revenue comes from 20% of your customers. That 80-20 rule works for a lot of different things. Okay, if you're a basketball player, right? It's funny because the more you know how to dribble, you realize that you don't have to dribble as much in a game, right? Like you don't have to take a ton of dribbles. You don't have to dribble the ball a bunch of times to get open. If you just take a, if you are really good at dribbling, you could get open in two dribbles or less. If you're a rapper, you don't need to try to pack a bunch of words into your bars and you don't need to try to do a bunch of stuff. The more you know, the less you get to do, the less you have to do. Now I'm a producer and a rapper and a mix engineer. So I literally will start the song from scratch Right? Which means I make the melodies, make the beats, write the lyrics, record the vocals, mix it, master it, and I usually make the photo cover, and I gotta put it up on DistroKid for Apple Music and Spotify, and I gotta promote it. I have a lot I gotta do. So when I'm sitting there coming up with chord progressions, do I need to come up with five or six different chords or four different chords? Bop, 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 bop. No, man. That trick right there is gonna help me immensely because I have so many other things. I got multiple instruments to add. I, and you guys know I have the rest of the process. So think of your grind and find that pentatonic scale for your grind. Find that trick that's gonna have you doing less tasks but better. And really guys, the theme of this video, it's focus, 
right? Now, this COVID-19 thing, it sucks. It sucks. I hate being in shelter in place, man. I mean, obviously I'm making the best of it and I'm going to tell you how, but like, obviously I don't want this to be happening. Like I want to go back to normal life, but there are things that I've had to stop doing. I've spent way less money because I'm not going out as much and I'm like, there's not as many opportunities for me to spend money. I'm not buying gas. I haven't bought gas once because I don't drive anywhere. Why? I'm in shelter in place. So like there's so many, I have more money in my bank account because of this uh, and I'm at home more. So I'm focusing a lot more on music creation, content creation, you know, and because you guys have kind of probably noticed a little bit of drop in the video quality of my YouTube videos because, you know, I was using a videographer, my boy Trevor. He's my team member, but because of shelter in place, we've decided we're not going to meet up to film videos. So I've been just filming them on my phone, but guess what? It's forced me to focus on how can I deliver the best content possible? So this shelter in place and coronavirus thing, I know it's hard, but find your pentatonic scale. Don't try to do everything. Focus on one, maybe two things and just go focus, build your habits, find that pentatonic scale for you because it's going to help you out immensely. All right. So I hope this video helps. Hey, um, I would really love to connect with you. Go follow me on Instagram at Lizzie the Gifted and shoot me a message and say, hey, Lee, I saw your last video about that piano trick and how it helps with focus. That was awesome, bro. Or whatever. Just send me a message on Instagram at Lizzie the Gifted. I would love to connect with you. Uh, of course, my music's all over the place. Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, YouTube. Just type Lizzie the Gifted, all one word. I'm there. And I appreciate you so much. And of course, don't forget, smash that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. And hit the like on the video, of course, because I appreciate all the love. Appreciate you. Love you. And I'm going to talk to you next week.